If you watched uh, Quantica's video in which he read out um, Arthur Schopenhauer's article on women, you will already know how much of a misogynist this man was. But over time there have been some people who have tried to look at his article in a slightly more positive light and who have tried to interpret what he was saying in a more positive way. And that is peculiar. And in order to understand why that is simply not going to wash and that this man really was a misogynist through and through, first of all I suggest that you listen to Quantica's video or you read the article on women online. It is titled On Women in the English translation. And you will see for yourself, there is no diluting the fact that this man was a misogynist. But if you read the text in the original German, it becomes even clearer than that. Because in the original German text, the title of the article was Über die Weiber. And that is an interesting use of a terminology there. Because Weiber for women is not exactly as neutral as the word women would be in English. Weiber has a negative connotation to it. Now, if you look at the origin of the word vibe, you can also compare it to the English word wife and it was often used that way in German as well. Just like wife in English means a woman who is married to somebody, the German word Weib had the same connotation of a woman who is married to somebody. And you can see that in older texts, such as for example Schiller wrote in his famous poem Oder an die Freude, uh, which was also used in um, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. And the second paragraph of that goes, Wem der große Wurf gelungen, eines Freundes Freund zu sein, wer ein holdes Weib errungen, mische seine, seinen Jubel ein. And that of course means, who is lucky enough to have found a spouse, who is lucky enough to have found a woman to marry, should join in with their jubilation. That's fine in that original sense, in Schiller's Oder an die Freude, that is what that word actually means. But Arthur Schopenhauer's article, Über die Weiber, and um, if there's any misunderstanding about how he means to use that word, you should just read some of the paragraphs here. But the article was written in 1851. Now if we look at a German article about the etymology of the word Weib and how it has been changing over time, then um, you can see that during the 19th century, im Laufe des 19th Jahrhundert, the word Weib has started to be used in a derogatory term, pejorative term, and they would use it in ter terms such as dummes Weib, stupid woman, and Weiberkram, silly nonsense, women's stuff, that sort of thing. So it is very clear that Schiller, or not Schiller, Schopenhauer, Schopenhauer was actually using it very consciously in that type of a connotation. He was using the term Weiber to indicate women to be as insulting as he could possibly be. And another reason why I'm thinking this is if you look at the one place in this article where he lets slip and he actually uses the much more neutral term Frau, which is the neutral German word for woman, Während daher bei den polygamischen Völkern jedes Weib Versorgung findest, findet, ist bei den monogamischen die Zahl der verehelichten Frauen beschränkt und bleibt eine Unzahl stützeloser Weiber übrig. So here he kind of forgets himself and instead of 
using the derogatory term Vibe, he uses the word Frau. In the rest of the article, consistently, he uses the word Vibe, through and through and through, all the way from the beginning to the end. This man was quite a piece of work.